Greetings. I'm just setting it up right quick. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, hey, hey, hey. Father, I just thank you for this time. I thank you that, uh, for the ability to be able to share this. Thank you for letting me see clearly what you're saying right now to share. <clears throat> so, um, the, uh, word that he gave me that, uh, evidently the other, I only tagged four people in it. My wife could see it, but, um, uh, um, I guess you couldn't see it, Sister Angela. But, um, the word that he was giving me was, uh, prophetic word. I was, I was in a dream and everybody was praying and worshiping and praying in the spirit. And, uh, I had, I started praying and, uh, in the spirit as well. And it got louder and louder and louder. So everybody else got quiet, basically. And then I uh, was the predominant voice that was speaking in tongues. And as I was speaking, someone started interpreting it. There was an, an interpretation given. But because it was the, the Spirit of God was on me so heavy, the Holy Spirit was on me so heavy, I was getting louder and louder. So I couldn't even hear what they were saying. So I woke up. And I was like, wow, what, what was that about? And, um, the first thing he gave me was, um, uh, um, uh, babes will drink water for food, right? So, uh, the, um, of course we know that the, what the water is, the water of the word, uh, Jesus is the word made flesh, you know? So, um, and he says, out of our belly sh shall flow rivers of living water. So uh, I know this has a lot to do with uh, the new converts, the new people coming to the Christ, uh, the the new ones, the babes in Christ. So they're not going to even they're not going to go for the milk. Oh, that's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, it's all good. It's no worries. Uh, yes, like I said, periscope. The enemy's trying to trying to shut shut our our voices down even through periscope, but he, the devil is alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's everybody's periscope been tripping lately, but the devil's alive. We are gonna still get it out because it's like the fastest growing thing, and what it's been used, what I see it used mostly for, is like for releasing prophetic words and for uh, people that God have already called. Wow, he had to reinstall it. Yeah, I actually had to do that a couple of times too. But I know that it's being used for people that God has called that don't have a voice that can just speak it and not be hindered, you know? So, of course, the enemy's going to try to stop that. But um, he's alive. He's alive. So, um, I looked it up and I was, I was talking to my wife. And I see, I, I, I know why you were saying, uh, what you were saying in the sense of, um, uh, yeah, God is still in control. He ain't fall off the throne. He ain't fall off the throne at all. But um, it had to do with uh, uh, breastfeeding. You know, like we we you, you, we uh, uh, feed off the breast of of heaven. You know, the milk from heaven. You know what I'm saying? We're getting getting spiritually fed from the the milk of the word, right? And uh, in the natural sense, in the natural sense, when you're breastfeeding. Uh, uh, they recommend you not give your child water uh, because it has a, a risk of having uh, being malnutrition and getting some kind of uh, infection in it or, or, or um, having diarrhea. You know what I mean? So to be purely breastfed, you would have to, you know, abstain from all of that uh, um, uh, besides like essential vitamins, uh, uh, uh like uh, syrup water or something like that, they said. Um, but 80% of the breast milk, yeah, the mother drinks enough water, that's right. 80% of the breast milk is water. You get what I'm saying? So um, uh, I believe what the Lord is saying, and that's what the baby needs, exactly, because it's pure water. You get what I'm saying? 
But what I believe he's saying that they're going to skip the breast milk and go straight for the water of the word, the, the meat, the king's meat. You know what I'm saying? Like they're going straight for that, that they're not going to even worry about, you know, because of the thirst and the hunger for the, the things of God, because they're so famished, they're so, they so desire, they're so crave. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to go straight for the water. <clears throat> but that's what he was saying. <clears throat> that's what he was saying to me that they, they're going to have to, I mean, they're going to go straight for the water. And I was like, wow, I don't, I didn't even get it. I didn't even understand what it meant. I didn't, and I didn't know, um, uh, why he was sharing that with me so i was like uh i looked up i looked it up that yeah the thirst is real yeah for real so i was trying to look it up and uh i was seeing that uh, uh why you know that was i asked my wife and she was like yeah you're, you're actually if you're breast if you're breastfeeding you're not supposed to do it for six months you know but he's telling me like straight out the bat they're going to be going for the for the for the uh, water of the word. So uh, this is, I'm going to go ahead and read what he told me. He's like, uh, he said, uh, babes will drink water for food. <clears throat> and he's going to shine a light in the ears of them that sleep, awakening them uh, abruptly. Uh, uh, and to, uh, to the dawning of a new age is what he was saying. So he's like, uh, the babes will drink water for food, and he's going to shine a light in the ear, like in the ear. Uh, the light will be shining in your ear, like, you know, the light of the word. Uh, you'll be able to hear clearly. And that's, that's, that's really, that was, it was a straight up riddle to me when he was saying it to me. But now that I'm like awake, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm getting it now. But uh, he's going to shine a light in the ear of those that are sleeping uh, 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 to awaken them to the dawning of the new day that is coming, the new age that's coming. And, uh, and then uh, I was, as I was there, I was, I just, I woke up at like one o'clock and, uh, and that's what he was showing me. And so uh, as I was there, he, like the spirit didn't lift, but it was still there. And then he started telling me about, uh, he says, uh, like a, uh, like a, like a lion roaring, roaring, released out of the cage, opening up blind eyes, uh, sight restored. Uh, this is not a time uh, to say that you're bored. You can't be saying that you're bored in this time because of what he's doing. And um, uh, using the foolishness, uh, using, the, using the foolish things to confound the wise, uh, pressing towards the... Uh, the high calling to get the prize to his glory <clears throat> it's not necessary to see the word but you better hear what they say yeah for real exactly because the first thing I did I started looking for the scripture and I couldn't find the scripture so I was like oh well so I just have to do I have to be obedient to it so it says pressing toward the mark of the high calling to get the prize to his glory is finally and totally realized in our eyes and in our lives so it's like pressing toward the high uh mark of the high calling to get the prize yeah yeah if you can't if you can hear the word you got to be obedient to it that's right <clears throat> yeah seeing comes after yeah so it says to his glory is final, finally and totally realized through our eyes like seeing the glory of god and in our lives like living it, you know what I mean? Like uh, uh, living it. So yeah, that was uh, what it was, you know, the, um, excuse me, the word that he gave me this morning. And he only told me to, to um, do it to a certain few. <clears throat> so you're tagged in it. I don't know why I wouldn't uh, allow you to, to, to see it. That was, that's, you know, that's just like, that was a lot. But glory to God, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm able to do it. So this is just, this is the pro prophetic riddle. riddle. That's crazy that you don't even have it. That's crazy. So 
I don't know how to retag. I don't I don't even know how to do that. Like I looked on there, all I see is because I made it private, he told me to make it private. I made it private, so um whenever I made it private, uh he told me to tag just four different people. It was you, my wife, uh um that prophetic pause brother, and then uh um this other cat, Anthony Howard. Uh, Anthony D. Howard. He asked me to tag y'all four in it. Sorry about that. Uh, he asked me to tag y'all four in it, so that's what I did. I just tagged y'all in it, and then uh, just moved on. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and then it, I, I, as I was there, uh, I was wanting to like he was showing me a little bit, but he was like, when he was showing it to me, he told me to get off. He was like, get off the scope. I was like, all right, cool. So I got I got off the scope. So uh, and I just sat there and uh, was kind of dumbfounded, <laughs> trying to see what was going on. <laughs> oh, you couldn't open it. Yeah, it does that to me too. Like it says that this broadcast, like when I click on it, when someone sends me a, uh, uh, when someone shares it with me, uh, I click on it. And then it says this broadcast cannot be, you know, viewed or whatever it says. I don't know. It, it won't let me open it. And, and then I, um, after I do it a several times, then it finally opens. I close it out and then I bring it back in. Then I, I can open it. But yeah, it's been doing that to me as well. I don't know what that's about, but hey. Um, I'm glad that I, I got, I've. <laughs> It paused and then the Periscope just died. That's crazy. He <laughs> gave up the ghost. <laughs> Straight up. That's funny. No, but uh, but yeah, I believe that's what he's saying uh, right now. It's like like a but what? <laughs> yeah, what he kept uh, pressing in my my spirit was the babes will drink water for food. Yeah, the babes will drink water for food. I was like, wow. So they're like, the water of the word, they're just going to be devouring, you know? Like, they're going to be, like, tearing it up. So, um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I could, uh, I'm glad that I, I got to release it right now again. Uh, I just, at that time, I just felt... You know, you know how it is when you get the word. You're like, man, I gotta do this, but I gotta do it in such a manner that um, I'm representing the Lord correctly. I'm re representing heaven in the in the proper way uh, that I'm not, because the the thing that I I, you know, the thing that I I feel so strongly about is uh, uh, misleading people the wrong way. You know, what I'm saying saying some stuff that'll throw people off. And I don't want to throw nobody off. I want, you know, but as he's telling me right now, that's it's up to him to get him. You know what I mean? Uh, just do exactly as he says, and he draws him. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, up to me. It's up to him. Yeah, uh -huh. out of our bellies flow rivers of living water. Yeah, it represents the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, they're they're wanting a real move. They wanna they want a sincere and a real in, in, encounter with the Lord. You know, they don't want some. Yeah, yeah, they don't want some. You know, watered down, uh, worldly mixture. You know, what I'm saying because what he he was telling me about that that water, how um, even in any other kind of water that other than the one that comes from the breastfeeding. It could cause an infection. So, yeah, they want the truth. That's right. Uh, uh, giving them that water from any any other source could cause an infection because of impurities in the water. Now, that spoke volumes to me. Like, I was like, wow. That's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to find it because I, I looked it up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I can see exactly what he said. It says, giving water to young babies puts them at risk of diarrhea 
and malnutrition. Water may not be clean and cause the baby to have infections. Giving water may also cause the baby to drink less breast milk or to stop breastfeeding feeding early and therefore cause malnutrition. So it'll stop him from even drinking the breast milk. You get what I'm saying? Man, that's good. That's really, really good. Wow. Wow. That's really good because it, stop, it stops him from even drinking the milk of the word, you know? It stops him from having that, that desire even for the milk because it's tainted. Because the word is tainted, you know, the water is tainted. It has impure, uh, uh, no pure, uh, no pure flow, you know. It has no pure flow, so it causes them to, to even not even desire the milk of the word. Man, that is really good. That is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to encounter. They want the tangible presence of God, and that's what He wants. So. It's evident. It's very, very clear that he's putting, because he he gives us those desires in our hearts, you know. So he's he's with that desire that he's given, yeah. That desire that he's 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 giving them is to want to know him and be close to him, like he wants to know us and be close to us, you know. Uh, that abiding in him as he abides in us, you know. He said, "Abide in me." And I will abide in you. So, so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, can't skip the, skip the intimacy, yeah. And that's what he's saying. That's that, that, I believe that's exactly what he's saying. He wants to, that's why they're wanting the water. Because the, Jesus is that water. Jesus is the water, the word, the water of the word, the, the washing of the water of the word, you know. That's, that's, I believe that's what, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe that's, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the most pure thing in the world. Breastfeeding, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. So they're just wanting, they're wanting to go straight to, to, they're wanting to have a real relationship. Wow, wow, wow. Yep, yep, yep. See, this is why he had me tag only certain people. Yeah. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, that's what he was, that, that whole drinking, Drinking that water, that that water from somewhere else, causes them to to not even desire the milk of the word because it, it, it's tainted and it, and it's it's uh it's um uh, uh what do you call it? a mixture? It's not like a uh, it's not just all gospel. It's like a mixture of the world and then a, a, a mixture of the gospel and a mixture of this religion or a mixture of they're mixing them all together and I know yeah exactly exactly you gotta have the word too exactly exactly you can't operate just by the spirit you gotta have the word you gotta have the father son and the holy spirit so um what um the other thing the other thing um uh, Baby says, the other thing um, he was sharing with me, levels, yeah. The other thing was, um, 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 let me see, Proverbs. I'm pulling it up right quick. Hold on, guys. So, but I, what I believe he's he's clearly saying though, is that he's about to throw babes up in the mix. I believe that's what he's saying. I believe that he's gonna throw the ones that that um, you know, they're just gonna people that's been at it for for a while. I, I believe he's gonna throw them up in there in the mix, and they're gonna walk in in, in some revelation and new understanding. Like Proverbs eight says. Uh, 
Uh, Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by, by the way in the places of the path. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O man, I call, and my voice to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward, forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and write to them that findeth find knowledge. Receive my instruction, in, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom, do, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogance, and the evil way. And the poor mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, sound wisdom, and uh, sound wisdom, I am understanding, I have strength. By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rules, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. Man, this whole chapter is just awesome. So it says that I may cause, this is verse 21, that I, I lead them in the way of 20, I lead them in the way of righteousness in the midst of the past of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. Glory to God. So this is for uh, whoever just joined, I didn't get to see, but um, uh, Proverbs 8, and I'm in verse uh, um uh, uh, I'm in verse uh, uh, carrot cake. Carrot cake. Oh, okay, it's carrot cake. Okay. Okay, I'm in Proverbs uh, chapter 8 and verse 21. Uh, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. We know what substance is. Having a true, you know, the substance of his word, the substance of who he is, uh, uh, a real, you know, like, like, uh, like you've been talking about too, sister and Angela, the, the, um, the, the Saul Paul experience, you know, the Saul Paul experience where he was on the road to Tarsus doing his own thing. And then boom, he got that encounter and it changed and it switched him up, changed his whole name. So he has substance now. He has substance of the, 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 the things of God. The encounter, yes, yes. So, um, 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 yes, yes, a testimony, substance, yes, yes. The substance of, of who he is. And this whole chapter is like, like bomb. This, this chapter is just like, like killing it. Uh, um, it's, and then 34, we go to 34. It says, blessed, blessed is the man or woman that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. So waiting, you know what I'm saying? Just waiting on that understanding, that revelation, that water, that water that he's talking about, that water of the word, waiting on that at the post of his doors. And uh, uh, 35, it says, for whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. And then 36, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate uh, me love death. So yeah, yeah, that's like, that's very clear what that means. Uh, if you hate understanding, and we understand, uh, uh, I don't know if it's ever been shared with, with uh, any one of you, Kara Cake or you, Sister Angela, how um, it's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, of course. Uh, but that, that how that begins, it says the, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? So the, when you fear him, it's the beginning of knowledge. So the Father is the knowledge of it all. Jesus is the knowledge, wisdom, okay, and then understanding. Okay, so the Father is the knowledge, the know, he knows everything. 
Jesus is the wisdom. Wisdom is walking it out, of course. You know, Jesus came here and he walked it out. He showed us how to do it. All right. But just because uh, 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 just because you know and you have the wisdom about it doesn't mean that you understand it. So that's why he said he's going to send the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And he brings all things, you know, all things to our remembrance. He, he, he restores that that true relationship, that that real that substance of, of knowing the father and the son, which is understanding, you know. Uh, um, under, I mean, it's like how it says, understanding, you're under him and then you're standing, you know. So um, that's what he's been sharing with me from this, because it says, uh, I'm going to find that, uh, the actual verse where it says, where he was rejoicing with him. Give me one second. So 23, I believe that's where it is. It says, I was set up from everlasting, from the get, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. And this is Proverbs 8, verse uh, 23. So he's, he's saying, he's letting us know who exactly he is. He was like, I was set up from everlasting, from the, get, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Excuse me one second. <coughs> My allergies have been tripping lately last few days I think it's because it got hot all this like 80 degrees out here we didn't have hardly no winter <laughs> but um, the point being I'm gonna find the other scripture where um, I'm gonna find out where that is give me one second Okay, there it is. Found it. Okay. And then, so in 23, it says, I was set up from the everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was. And then it goes to 30, uh, verse 30, and it said, Then I was, was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. And this is the sun. This is a clear uh, depiction of wisdom. Who wisdom is? Excuse me about that. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> it's saying who wisdom is. It's his son. It's Christ. You know. It says that was and is and is to come. And for the foundations of the earth or the world, uh, he was there before we were even created. He had already died for us and redeemed us. You know. Because he had the wisdom to know, you know, before we even got here that Adam was going to fall. That we were going to be doing whatever we were doing. Uh, not lined up with him, you know. That we're going to need a redeemer. The redeemer can, he knew that from the beginning of, of before the earth, you know. So, um, that's what, um, uh, that's what this is saying. So, um. So yeah, um, um, this is a, a a really good good thing that he's he's sharing with me. Like he's been having this in my spirit for some time about um, the wisdom knowledge. I mean, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And of course, the wisdom is the the walk, the walk, which is what Christ did. He came and he walked it out. That's the wisdom that he had. He had the wisdom to do it. But then he had uh, the spirit without measure as well, you know, that the Holy Spirit came and, and uh, lit up on him like a dove, you know, like that of a dove. And the Father opened the heavens and said, this is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased in. So, yeah, uh, uh, the Father was, uh, how it was, it was explained to me, uh, he was 
the father is light and, and energy and, and power and all of that, you know, like the, the, the closest thing that we can get to it is like electricity, you know, like a, um, like a ball, like, you know, a, a ball of, of light that was released. And when he released it, and, and you have to understand too that he says that we are the light of the world, you know, uh, when he said, let there be light in Genesis, when he was like, uh, and God said, let there be light, he was speaking us forth into existence, right? Because we are the light of the world. We are ambassadors of heaven. We are the ambassadors of heaven. We are the light of the world. And he said, he gave us the same glory that, that uh, he, he told the Father, he's like, the same glory that you're giving me, I want to release it to them, you know? And it's not just for the, he did it for the disciples first, and he was like, not just for them, but for those that are to come, you know, for the ones that are going to come, the ones that will be brought in later, the lights of the world. So when he spoke, let there be light, he was speaking us into existence. Even before we were here right now, we were already here right now. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like a, it, it's a, like a mind blower, but you know what I'm saying? That's why we can't wrap our, our his ways are higher than our ways. We can't wrap our mind around what, what, how to fathom who God is. We can't wrap our mind around how He orchestrates things, how He makes things, uh, uh, all things new, even though they that was and, and is to come. You know, uh, uh, even though they existed before the foundation of the world, and how He said, "There's nothing new under the sun." You know, in, in Ecclesiastics. But point being. Uh, um, the point being is that he spoke forth of light, you know, and that's what we were, you know, that we were the light that he was speaking for, not just Jesus, but all light, you know, all that would be light, you know, he was speaking that into existence, right? So he was the ball of, 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 of light, you know, he was a ball of energy and, and he released it when he spoke, it was like a... But he he had to speak it forth, right? It didn't just it wasn't just a big bang explosion and 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 then existence came. No, he there was purpose behind the explosion. There was a, a purpose because we know that the dunamis power that's like dynamite power. You know that's an explosion, of course, right? So the dunamis power, he spoke it forth. Boom, right? Let there be light. Boom. And then immediately we came into existence, even though we didn't know it, even though just like when you travel through space and time, when you travel through space and time, you're, you're, um, you're going through like, if you could, if you could go where the, the, out to the other, other, other regions, uh, other regions of the, uh, of the earth, you could go, if you can go in there, then you would see how you don't know what's existing until you get there. You get what I'm saying? You don't know what's there until you get there, right? So uh, um, he spoke it forth, but he's, since he's all-knowing, he's all-knowing, he's the knowledge of everything. He's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is hard to fathom as well. But he spoke that, and since he's the one who spoke it, he knows what it's doing. He knows how he's creating it. He knows how he's bringing it into fruition but glory to god that's like going really deep so um but regardless of what i'm gonna release it because this has been in my spirit for for days for years months <laughs> but this is finally a chance to to speak it forth but point being point being uh welcome uh Danny Polaco, Polaco, welcome. But uh, yeah, that's what he's been uh, dealing with me about. Like when he was saying to to grasp the the concept of when he spoke forth, let there be light. That we were the light. And the understanding that the the. I mean, even the whole scripture that says that he'll bring all things to remembrance, right? So he'll show us, like like the scripture says, they have forgotten from whence they have come, you know? It, like, we don't even know where we come from. 
being here, getting caught up in the world and getting caught up in in whatever, the, the, the monotony of, of life, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it might be. The, the monotony of, of what's going on. I'm going to have to take this off because it keeps trying to either scrape up against it or block out the sound. But uh, the point being, uh, the scripture that says, they have forgotten from whence they have come. I'm going to find that so I can drop it down so you won't just think that I'm making up something. Um, Bear with me one second. second. Bear with me just a little second. Well, Psalms 9, 17, that's just the meat of it right there, because if we're not, um, if we're not walking with him, then it says that uh, anytime that we're not being obedient, anything that we're doing outside of the will of God, anything that we're doing other than what God said to do, we have to know that it's rebe rebellion. Uh, point of blank. It don't matter how small, how big. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, if we're not being solely obedient to the Lord, we're in rebellion. And rebellion is as witchcraft and it's wicked. So that's clear right there. So the, 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 the truth of it right here is that it says, and that's doing wickedly, right? The truth of it here is in 917, Psalms 917, it says, <clears throat> excuse me, in the King James Version, it says, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations uh, that forget God. So, <clears throat> you know, your life becomes difficult. Uh, it, it don't have to be a literal hell. It could be, uh, it could be literal hell on earth, I mean, to be honest. But um, you don't have to go to Sheol to be experiencing hell. You could be living here right on earth. And experiencing Sheol, because that's what it says, Sheol. And Sheol means like hell. Let me see. Um, I'm going to find that scripture. Okay, King James Version of Revelation 2 5 says, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So that's like, that's like, that's clearly saying, clearly saying that uh, uh, return to where you have come from because you, you forgot where you came from. So let me, I'm trying to find the actual one. Eventually it'll pop up. I'm getting all these. You got. I have the word worded uh, uh, exactly right before Google will pull it up. 
because it's giving me all these other references, which are good, but it's not the actual scripture. Now it gives me uh, Jeremiah 4:22. For my people, uh, my people is foolish. Uh, they have not known me. They are uh, sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. So it could be a, a particular um, translation as well. But I would love to find the exact scripture. But for whatever reason, it's not popping up. So, um... Bear with me, guys. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so I'm going to try this one. I don't want to waste all the time doing that. Try to find it another time because it's going to take up all the time. He's giving me a lot of good scriptures, but Second Peter 1 9. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So this is all talking about, see, because I used to read um, um, very, very old translations. When I first got, got uh, brought into the knowledge of, of knowing him and Christ, I read very, very old translations of, uh, of, the, of the King James Bible. And, and this is like, uh, I'm talking about Bibles that were like 50, 60 years old. Uh, even sometimes a hundred years old, you know, uh, I was going to the library. I was at a church where they had older versions, like Bibles that, that were purchased. And we know that the Bible has changed a whole lot. Um, the Bible has changed like significantly, a significant, a, dr a drastic amount, you know, a, a, it's a dramatic change. Like taking out certain words and, and, and whatever, you know. Um, but that, the point being, uh, I read old, old versions of it. And uh, being how I, I, I'm quoting it, you can tell from whence they have come. That's like old uh, English. So um, point being, uh, all of these scriptures that he's, that I'm seeing right now, I'm gonna keep on searching. I'm gonna find that scripture, but uh, and I'll come back and I'll share. But uh, maybe that's just uh, another reason for me to come back, because um, I don't come back unless there's a reason to. So point being, uh, the reason why we're doing the things that we're doing, uh, like it says right here in Second Peter one nine, reason why we're not doing the great exploits that he said that we should do. Excuse me, and that we can do is because we have forgotten from whence we have come. We don't know where we are, what we've been delivered from. Second uh, Peter two nine, 
I mean, Second Peter 1, 9, it says, But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Right? So that's clearly, uh, uh, that's the closest I can get to that scripture that I'm looking for. The point being, uh, that's what he's been dealing with me about how um, that, that's that's uh, uh, getting back understanding that we have been purged since the beginning of time. Uh, this this Second Peter one nine will, will, will work really well actually, knowing that from the beginning of time that we've been purged from our sins. Uh, uh, where is it at? forgotten that he was purged from his old sins so from the foundation of the world we've been purged predestined you know those those are the things that uh people run from and and say there is free will will yes there is free will there um i I love it that this brother that uh, i was introduced to says that um um, hey linda welcome I love it that this brother uh, uh, says that that um, he, um, um, he he says that there's that's because that's what that's what I'm always like telling my son and, and and sharing with my wife. There's a perfect will and there's a permissible will of God. You know, uh, you can do the per, the per, permissible will and be all right. You know what I'm saying? But you won't be in the perfect will of God. You know, you can live your life in the permissible will and and probably not have a lot of problems, you know. But uh, when it comes down to the great white throne judgment, when we're standing before him, you got to have to answer for that, not being in his perfect will, when you know you could have. You know you could have just easily switched over and did exactly what he said instead of doing, you know, barely what he said. So um, point being, going back to the purging, from the beginning of time, the predestined, you know, uh, uh, people say about the free will and that, you know, uh, how is there free will if we're predestined to do it? Well, it's kind of like this, like the scripture says, um, behold, I said before you life and death, choose life, right? That's the predestined path, life, you know, but, uh, you, you, you can, uh, you, you can bounce back and forth, you know what I'm saying? You can go down the path of the permissible will. You have that free will to do that. I'm not saying this, I'm not condoning it, I'm not saying you go do that. But you have free will to go bounce over there and, and do what you want to do. Uh, even if it was uncomfortable for you, you can still go do it. You know, you can fight and kick against the pricks. But like you told Paul, he's like, why are you kicking against the pricks? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, Paul, I said before you, life and death, choose life. Why not just choose the life? What seems like it's um, uh, so hard to do right now, you know, what seems like it's so hard to do right now, uh, in the afterlife, you're building up the treasures. Like like I said in in Proverbs, in Proverbs, uh, hang on one second, Proverbs 8, I'm going to have to download this application. Oh, no, I have it. Great. I didn't know I had it, so glory to God. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> one second as it loads up. Going back to being confident, Philippians 1 6, being confident of this very thing that He which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what He's doing right now. He's perfecting that thing which concerns me. So, um, I'm going to look up that Proverbs chapter 8 right quick, guys. It's pulling up other things. I'm just reading it, seeing what it's saying. Got me in Philemon uh, chapter 1. Lemon. Okay, let's see. Chapter eight. Let's 
seeing. And that's Thank you, Holy Ghost. Okay. In verse 21 in, in, in Proverbs chapter 8, I'm using the computer, so I'm using a little, a little, my old phone basically to look up stuff instead of uh, grabbing a, uh, my Bible. <clears throat> I have a Bible app on my phone, on my old phone, on all my phones actually. So, um, in verse 21 in chapter 8, it says that I may cause that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. So we're laying up treasures. Glory to God. We're laying up treasures in heaven. When we choose the perfect will of God, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't have good on earth. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that you don't strive to only to have good things on earth. Sometimes you might have to go through some things. You might have to, you know, uh, let go of some things. You might have to remove some things. I mean, that's your beliefs, your your whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, to have the treasures in heaven, because he said he's gonna fill it right here. It says in 21 that I may that I may cause those that love me, because you love them. That's why you do it. You love them. You let it go because you love them. That I may cause those that love me. To inherit, to inherit uh, substance, and he said, he says, I will fill their treasures. So, glory to God. That's a, uh, that's some, um, hallelujah. That's a, uh, that's some good, that's some good word. That's some good meat. Like uh, the prophetic word that he gave me. Like I said, the babies are gonna be drinking the water. You know what I'm saying for food, regardless of how we think. Uh, how we think it is or how we think it should be that's what's going to happen uh, just like with me like I didn't have no I didn't have intimacy I didn't, I, he just came and just shook me up boom Paul didn't have no intimacy with Christ he didn't have he just came and showed him boom uh, and they're going to drink that water as food instead of the, the breast milk they're going to have the water they're going to move in power they're going to move the babes that are coming are going to move in power and that's what's going to be the difference. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be moving in power. That's what it's going to be demonstration. You know what I mean? It's not going to be just like, uh, uh, it's not going to be just like a, a all blah, blah, blah. It's going to be demonstration. The dunamis power showing up, boom, drinking it, drinking the water. You know what I'm saying? As food. They're going to, uh, like uh, when Jesus was fasting in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, he clearly said, you know, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word, you know, the word, the water of the word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Also, it, it clearly was saying um, when he said that, uh, I'm going to find that scripture, it says, my, my, my meat is not this, you know, let me see. Yeah. Glory to God. That's John 4.34. In the NIV version, it says, My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his word. That's the word right there. That's the water of the word right there. Uh, Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his word. That's what those babies are going to start coming in, doing it just like that. They're going to have such a powerful impact. Uh, all the all the people that are saying like, uh, well, they ain't had no relationship. They ain't spent no time. They they ain't done. Everybody that's saying that, he's, he's about to use the, the the foolishness of the world to confound the uh, the the foolishness of this world. You know, the people call foolish here. He's gonna confound the wise. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna confound them. He's gonna he's gonna shake them up. Let them see. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like. This is what it is. This is me. It ain't got nothing to do with a man. It ain't got nothing to do with what you did, with your flesh, or how long you've been with me, how long you know me, uh, how great of a relationship you think you have with me. He's coming to, he's, the babes are going to drink the water. That's, that's just what it is. Um, that's just what it is. I mean, 
ain't no, ain't no, ain't no other way around it. Uh, the illustration I'm giving is the babes drinking water. The, the illustration I should say he's giving uh, is the babes drinking water is because when a baby is born, they're not supposed to drink water. They're supposed to drink just milk because it's 80% water and it's, it's considered the purest form. But it's, since it's going to be him, you know what I'm saying? Since it's going to be his word, not my word, not anybody else's word, not somebody else saying whatever they're saying. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be him specifically coming and speaking to them. You know what I mean? Him having a, a verbal conversation with them. An encounter, you know, like he did with Paul. When he, I mean, he couldn't find it in the, in the, uh, he couldn't find it in the tour anywhere of, of uh, him coming to him. I mean, it's in our Bible now, the experience that happened with Paul. You know what I'm saying? That's in our Bible now. It wasn't in the Bible before. It wasn't in the Torah, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't in the laws of Moses, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't in the law of Moses saying that I'm coming to, to it was in his book, in his book of life, in his, in his revelations, you know? It was in heaven's book of life. So these people that are coming, you don't have to, that's why we're gonna have to have discernment, you know what I'm saying? That's why we're gonna have to have a word so we can know you know, so we can know him, you know him, you know what I'm saying, not just studying it to try to get you know, your your eternal salvation out of it, but to actually know him, have the word, not 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 a, um, the ladder of the law, you know what I'm saying, but having the balance, having a, a true balance of him, you're going to have to know him, that's period, and that's, I mean, when you know him, you know the word, you know, because he is the word made flesh. I don't know how much more I, I can't explain it any more than that, you know. Uh, people that don't want to hear, people that want to, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like it, you have, to, you have to get it. You have to have to know you, him. You got to know him, not just the Bible, but him. Uh, like 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 uh, this brother was saying, like like it was a prophetic pause. You should follow this cat too. Cause he's speaking life. That's all it is. Just this. That's what it is. Speaking life. Uh, like credit cards was saying. The well, the Lord is saying. The Holy Spirit is saying to him. They're they're coming with the ink. You know what I'm saying. They're reading ink. They're not coming with the spirit. They're coming with ink. You can't come with ink. You know what I'm saying. You have to come with a real, true relationship, knowing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Having the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding. That's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? This is blessing me. If it ain't blessing nobody, it's blessing me. And I'm grateful for the Lord pouring it out. So I can go back and, I'm, and throw it up on my YouTube channel and watch it over and over and get more banquets and feasts out of it. Glory to God. Because He says it prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. You know what I'm saying? This is my table right now that he's preparing before me in the presence of He's making a banquet for me right now. And I'm eating good. <clears throat> you can do the same. You know what I'm saying? You partake. And the, the, the scripture that comes to mind right now is to know him. To know him. And what I always want is to move, live, and have my being in him. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all I want to do. Move, live, and have my being in him. But back to what I'm saying, or what the Holy Spirit is saying, what he's having me say right now is, my food is not the food that, you know, is to do the Father's will. It's what Christ said. If we're going to be like him, we have to be like that. We have to be like he told me. Bathe will drink water for food. Forget the, um, the whole, uh, you get what I'm saying? Like, It's pretty raw, but um, when he needed Jesus to be born, it wasn't no, no intimacy, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, like, you know what I'm saying? He told her what it was, and then he was like, either she was going to do it or she wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Either she was down or she wasn't. That's pretty straightforward, right? That's pretty straightforward. You, 
you can you can understand that. Uh, whenever he said, "Blessed art thou," you know, you're highly favored. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like you know a romance or whatever. He was telling her, "This is what's gonna happen," and she was like, "How is it gonna happen?" Well, the Holy Spirit is gonna come up on you. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was out of uh, intimacy that, you know, he just said, this is the one that I want to use, you know, using the foolishness of this world to confound the wise. Even the whole point of, the whole point of, I mean, he, he the foolishness of this world, he uses it to confound the wise. I mean, the, the, the what the world calls foolish, I should say. He uses it to confound the wise, the wisdom of this world. You think that heaven is, you think that God is dumb, God is foolish, but he confounded, like, as I was about to say, as the foolishness is how, man, he's giving me a lot right now. How can, how can a, a nation be born in a day is what they were saying, but it happened, you know what I'm saying? How can... She can get pregnant without knowing a man, but it happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the the scripture that was really awesome that the brother shared uh, last night that the Holy Spirit spoke through him was how can how can it be that how can it be that someone had a legion of demons in them? Had a legion, not just like one demon, or two demons. You know what I'm saying? A legion. I, you got to look it up and know what legion means. Look, do the research yourself. A legion of demons is in this brother, right? But Christ shows up. You know what I'm saying? And speaks with him, and that's what this is saying. The babes will drink the, the water for food. That's what he told me last night in the middle of the night, like one o'clock in the morning. You got what I mean? So, how can it that this dude, yeah, I mean, it, ain't, it wasn't no 12-step program, it wasn't no, you know, elongated, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, and you got to understand, from that encounter, the dude built a relationship with Christ, you know what I'm saying? He built a relationship with the Father, you know? Because he got delivered, you know what I mean. Um, I got to look it up, but I don't. I don't want to look it up right now. I want to finish what I'm. What the Holy Spirit is saying through me. So, um, I think I don't even think he got to go with him. You know what I'm saying? He just set the dude free. You know what I'm saying? The dude wanted to go with him. He just said, "Nah, I'm setting you free." You know what I mean? Point being, I looked that up in a minute. Point being, he had a legion of demons in him, right? He had a legion of demons, right? So he has a legion of demons in him, and it was in all human minds, like the the human process and how we've been doing it lately uh, is, you know. Going through all these different steps, going through all these different motions to get a person delivered. You know what I'm saying? You got to do this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, using scripture, of course. You know what I'm saying? Using scripture, of course. Like uh, these come, these kind come not out except by fast, prayer, and fasting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to have faith. You know what I'm saying? You got to, got to know the word. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to. Uh, uh, you gotta get in the word, I should say. You gotta get in the word more. You gotta dig in it. You gotta do this and that and the water. This brother was bouncing around, just, I mean, cutting himself. This dude was just, you know what I'm saying? Dude was like, wilding out. <laughs> For lack of a better word, he was wilding out. He wasn't trying to go in the temple, he wasn't trying to read the word. He was just wilding out. And God showed up when Jesus showed up to him. The word, you know what I'm saying, as food, boom, set him free. It wasn't you no know, two years, three years. He came and said, what's your name? Got the name. Got it out of him. Moved around. You know what I'm saying? Dude was free. 
You know what I'm saying? Dude was already delivered. It wasn't like, okay, hold on, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Of course, <clears throat> of course, it's Christ uh, that's doing it, and, that, and I could, I could, I could see people, people were uh, saying that, but uh, you have to remember that it's Christ that came with it. But I mean, I mean, do I have to say that it is Christ and you doing it? The hope of glory, you know what I'm saying? Like it's. It is Christ. It's Christ in you as well. You know what I mean? You know, the hope of glory. That's the, the impact that you're going to have. That's the impact that's happening. You know what I'm saying? It's Christ coming in you. It ain't all the steps that you're doing. It's the Christ just releasing that. Uh, submitting to it. The perfect will, which is abiding in Him and letting Him abide in you. And Him moving, living, and having our being, you know? Uh, that's, that's it I mean I could keep going but that's it he told me that's it so yeah Christ it's Christ it's all Christ all glory going back to the Lord yeah alright yeah but uh yeah alright one last time he says Holy Spirit says one last time, babes will drink water for food and he's going to shine light in the ears of them that sleep, awakening them abruptly to the dawning of a new age. Like a roaring, like a lion roaring released out of a cage, open up, opening up blind eyes, sight restored. This is not a time that you should be saying, I'm bored. Too much going on. We need to be doing that. Foolishness and the foolish thing that confound the wise, pressing toward the mark of the high calling to get the prize to, until his glory is finally and totally realized in our eyes and in our lives. The total, full manifestation. Because we were created to manifest the glory of, the, of God. I'm going to find that scripture that said, um, how it forgotten from where we came from. I'm going to find it. But for now, that that first Peter, uh, that second Peter, I'm sorry, second Peter 1, nine, it does it. Know that you've been purged since the beginning of time. He knew that Adam was going to fall. He knew the devil was going to act stupid, you know. He knew Lucifer was going to try to take it. He knew all of these things. You know what I mean? He ain't fall off his throne. He ain't going to fall off his throne because these people that are just walking, doing whatever. Uh, it's like the brother was saying, man. Like he was saying. Like the brother was saying. What value do the, the homeless, what value does that homeless person have that he, he says that they're more than the ones in the church, the ones that are, you know, saying that they're they're doing the things of God, they're they're, they're walking with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that they got more value. So he's gonna hit them. They're, they're not being intimate with the Lord like we say intimacy is, or you know what I'm saying? They're just living their lives. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give me one more thing. As we're obedient, he changes our path. You know what I'm saying? As we're obedient, just be obedient. Don't matter what 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 happens. Be obedient to what he's saying. Be obedient. Stop trying to figure it out myself or say what it's gonna be. Just be obedient to what he's saying and do it. It's in Amos nine, I believe. Nine thirteen. It says, "Behold, the days days come," saith the Lord, "that the plowman shall 
overtake the reaper and the reap and the trader of grapes, him that soweth seed. Excuse me. And the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. You know what I mean? Like all the hills, that's a mountain, whatever it is, going to melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. The hills melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's piled up in your life, Lord of God, it's going to melt like wax at the presence. Whatever's piled up in their lives, the lack of intimacy, lack of knowing the word, it's going to melt like wax. And you're just going to pour, boom, fire, liquid fire. Uh, Smith Wigglesworth said he saw the days coming where uh, uh, men were, were, it was liquid fire being poured into men. They were drinking liquid fire, like, like it wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that has to be God doing it, because if I go try to get some lava and pour it in my mouth, you know what's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? I can't be doing it on my own. But it's the fire of God, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Father, I just thank you that this word is your word. I thank you, Father, that you're releasing your truth, your manifestation. It don't matter. God will be true. Every man will be a liar. I don't care about being a liar just so long. You're true. You know what I'm saying? You continue to be true. You continue to be who you are, who you said you are in our lives, Father. So I release that, Father. I thank you that people have the shalom, the peace of God, the grace of God to continue to do exactly your perfect will, plan, and purpose in their life, Father. Your perfect will, plan, and purpose in their life, Father. In the mind of Christ, the eyes of their understanding being enlightened, being brought brighter, the ears opening, hearing clearly with clarity. That is, uh, you're not the author of, author of confusion, Father. So anything that is confusion, Father, we do release the fire of God to burn it up, to, to burn up all the chaff, the unquenchable fire of the Holy Spirit to burn up all the chaff, to gather it all up and burn it up, just rubble it up, you know what I'm saying, ball it up and put it in the fire in the furnace. Burn it up, purify it. Even in a uh, uh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Even talking about that over here it says uh, that wisdom, that understanding. So we'll just read Proverbs chapter eight. Read it for yourself. You know what I'm saying. Yes, I'm going to read this one. It says, my dog, my dog trying to come in here. Hang on a second. I got a new dog. Here, get down. Get down, Shalom. 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 Get down. Get down. Get down. No. No. Get down. Shalom trying to come over here. Um, uh, it says, let me see. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills uh, was I brought forth, while as yet... He had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest parts of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the death. Wisdom. This is talking about wisdom. Christ. What I'm looking for is the one that's silver. But well, glory to God. You can find it. It's in there. So look it up. Proverbs 8. Glory to God. So, uh, yeah. Receive my instruction and not silver. And knowledge rather than choice gold. You know what I'm saying? That's like whatever of the world. You know what I'm saying? Receive his silver, his his purifying. Glory to God. So thank you, Father, that you're purifying us as silver and gold. Hallelujah. The, the vessels of honor that you're talking about. That, that, that we can be. You know, just choosing to be that. Glory to God. Choosing to be the vessels of honor. And, and, and uh and, and choosing us this day whom we will serve so I choose so Father thank you that you give us the grace to continue to choose to serve you and, and uh, as always Elohim he's the creator God El Shaddai the all sufficient one Jehovah Shalom our peace Jehovah Nisi his banner over us is love the Lord bless keep thee while we're absent from one another thank you that the Lord uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it up because a lot is coming and it's, it's uh, I'm gonna, I want to do it right. 
it's uh, a lot, a lot is coming right now. Glory to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And he will put, and it says, and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. So we are the children of Israel. We're grafted in. Glory to God. I'm given the spirit of adoption where we can cry, Abba, Father. So Father, I just thank you that it's released. And we glorify you, Father. We glorify you, Father. Jehovah Nisi, your banner over us is love. Hallelujah. Jehovah Mekadeshkin, Jehovah Tisikinu, our righteousness, the one, our righteousness, the one who sanctifies us. Glory to God. El Elyon, the God most high, the most high God, above everything. We lift you above everything. And we thank you that your name will be glorified in our lives, Father. In Jesus' name, give you glory and praise, Father. So be it unto us. In Jesus' name, laters. Don't want to go out. Glory to God. I'll keep him. The glory to God. Well, stop. Hopefully, he got all of this. That was pretty good.